today we are going to check out the new zone operation game mode in survivor.io here it is and we'll play some challenges i'll also go over a few things that i've noticed All right, so the first thing I want to mention is that I do have another account. It's up to chapter 13 and zone operation was not unlocked. So it looks like you have to reach a chapter to unlock it. And that chapter might be above chapter 13. I'm not exactly sure. Each zone operation lasts for multiple days. Subsequent stages will be released after the operation period. In zone operation, each stage cleared unlocks a challenge mode. Complete the conditional challenges to earn challenge emblems and claim even more rewards. Once all conditional challenges are complete in one session, you will earn perfect challenge emblems that allow you to participate in the server's challenge progress ranking. After earning all perfect challenge emblems, the extreme challenge will start on the final week. We're gonna have an extreme challenge, guys. And here are the rewards. Check it out. You can get S-grade equipment. Excellent, I love it. And as you see, zone operation ends in 33 days and 22 hours. It's kind of cut off on the screen right there. And up here, next area stage unlocks in six days and 22 hours, so in a week. Let's go take on zone operation challenge one. Watch out for lasers and elite enemies. Let's grab Grab survivor instinct and here we go <laughs> let's grab the boomerang i guess and as you see we do have the kunai equipped we have all eternal gear equipped the twisting belt and red void waker treads and obviously we are using croaky here is type b drone i want to use this for elites and bosses maybe we can find its buddy type a drone its soulmate i'm going to take the soccer ball here it might be okay against mobs if there are a lot of mobs so far we are facing off against ghost and they can actually deal damage to me. As you see, I can walk right into them and they will deal a, a good amount of damage. I'm a one drone type of guy. Here comes Anna Lee. It's coming in quick. It's coming in hot and it died. Here's type A drone. Now let's look for stuff that will help us with mobs. And I'm not finding what I want, but I will grab the guardian. I don't have the tech part for it equipped. Maybe that's a good thing though. I can take a closer look at my donuts. And let's grab the exobracer while we can. We are getting approached by more enemies. They are swarming in very slowly, but we are killing them. We are killing them off. I think this is actually a pretty cool game mode. We can get free rewards. It's pretty free to play friendly. I can't complain about free rewards. I really can't. I also can't complain about playing the game. I like playing Survivor.io. I have a channel on YouTube about it. All right, we are about to surpass three minutes in. And here comes a boss at the three minute mark. More kunai action, let's go. Here is the dystopian king. We are killing it quickly. And let's grab the magnet on the ground. This will help evolve the boomerang. This will help evolve the soccer ball. And let's grab more drones. Also, let's open up this chest. Maybe we can get something, just one thing, Never mind. One soccer ball, that's all I need. And we are getting approached by fire breathing lizards. Oh no, let's run right through them. Let's get the boomerang up. I want to evolve it. We can't do it just yet though. And we are just running around these fire breathing lizards. They can't touch us. But I don't really want to leave the area. I want to collect all the biofuel on the ground before I go. And check this out. Now we have the magnetic rebounder and we got approached by an elite and killed it. And here's a five star type A drone. We can now evolve the drones into the destroyer drone. I need to find another magnet. There it is. We have a five star kunai. And check this out. I'm going to grab the spirit shuriken before I grab the destroyer. And here's the destroyer. I actually thought zone operation was going to start tomorrow. That's what the developers have been saying. But I woke up. I saw this. I panicked. And now I'm recording a video. You know what? Let's grab the durian. I would like to grab HE fuel too, so we can expand the size of our skills and we can increase our range. Here's a bomb. I have a bomb and another magnet. I'm putting a lot of magnets. Here's HE fuel. There are puddles of lasting damage on the ground, so skills like the Molotov might actually be very helpful here. And the Molotov can actually help King heal. Here comes another boss at the six minute mark. Let's go kill it. There are two bosses, Devourer and a Caterpillar thing. We are now getting approached by more fire breathing lizards. We have to do something about this. All of you will die. Let's go open up the chest over here. I'm not using them to evolve skills. I'm using them to gain skills. I need skills to pay the bills. So far, we are untouchable. Your fire means nothing to me. I'm fire retardant. We have the quantum ball. It's time to utilize some quantum physics. We have evolved the cheeseburger defender. Let's go. Check it out. We now have cheeseburgers swinging around us. With the tech part equipped, the cheeseburgers get really small. They fly out. They come back. But here, they're just swinging around us and I get to take a good look at them. Maybe I should order a cheeseburger. I'm really hungry. We have the Caltrops and we do have the red tech part for equipped. So the spikes are going to inflict a bleed on the enemy, which will make them gradually lose HP. And now we are getting approached by rhinos and wild hogs. And I think here comes an elite. Yep. Here comes an elite. I could barely see it, but we killed it. Let's expand our range with HE fuel. And we are just laying waste to these mobs right here. And here is six cents. We have just increased our crit rate and crit damage. And we have just evolved the exo bracer. That is the astral forge effect 
of the Eternal Necklace. And if you see that we are rapidly healing, that is the Astral Forge effect of Eternal Gloves. And check out all of these mobs. There are a lot of mobs all over the place. Things are looking crazy, but they cannot penetrate through our cheeseburgers. Our buns are too thick, baby. And I guess we killed an elite over here. We're getting five different things from this chest. Here's the 10 minute mark and we have another boss. If you're wondering why I look up there, it's because I can see it bigger. And we are just wiping them out. Rest in peace, bosses. All right, so zone operation challenge one is 10 minutes long. We are getting a hero shard, an EDF supply crate key, and some essence. Here are the total damage numbers. Okay, so as you see, once we complete zone challenge operation one, we have this conditional challenge. We can turn all of them on and get less rewards or more rewards. Let's turn all of them on. Launches lasers, attack at intervals, random poison pools. One in every 20 enemies gets five times the HP. One elite spawns per minute and mob charge damage up. If we complete this, we can get challenge emblems. And this one's a perfect challenge emblem. And with these emblems, we can come here and exchange them for rewards. So before we do this right here, let's go complete zone operation challenge two. Bullets are your greatest threat here. Zone operation challenge two is a square chapter. I'm going to grab the force field. I don't recommend the skills that I'm using right now. I just have the tech parts for them equipped because I find it fun. Let's take the drill shot and let's see. I'm not finding anything that I want. I'm going to grab Ronan Oyori for fun. Let's just keep on ramming the enemy here, taking out these guys that shoot projectiles at us. And here's type A drone. We have both drones now. Here comes an elite at the one minute mark. Rest in peace. These guys are trying to snipe me from the corners. Hey, get out of here. Stop trying to snipe me. And here comes some zombies. The zombies are incoming as if they weren't before, but they are incoming at the one minute and 30 second mark. Let's go kill them. With an Astral Forge three kunai, I no longer need to grab the Koga Ninja Scroll. So I do have a passive slot open in which I can grab something like the high power bullet, but I'm going to grab the durian here. Zone operation two, what can I say? Here comes some butterflies. They're going to leave pools of lasting damage on the ground. If you have eternal boots, they can remove lasting damage. If you have the Molotov, they can also remove lasting damage. So can bombs, but I don't see any bombs here right now. Or you can just walk between them. Here comes a boss at the three minute mark. Rusher Papillion. Rusher Papillon. I don't know how to pronounce that name. And we killed it right away. Rest in peace, butterfly. Let's open up this chest. We're getting one thing. We're getting unlucky here. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that food there. We have some gold biofuel on the ground as well. Come here, biofuel. I want you. And we have a five star force field. Let's evolve it. Here is the force barrier. We just evolved the force field. And let's grab HE field to make it bigger. We have a lot of mobs incoming here. Let's go kill them. A bunch of bats. Can we find the whistling arrow? Can we find it? Yes, we can. Here's the whistling arrow. Instead of one arrow, we are going to get two because we have the red tech part equipped. And here is a chest. Let's open it. We have the spirit shuriken. We have a five star type B drone. Can we evolve the drones? Nope, but we can evolve the caltrops. Here we go. Zombies are incoming at the four minute 30 second mark and here they come. Let's go ram them with our force barrier and grab the destroyer drone. I'm going to grab the guardian. I don't have the tech part for equipped, but I like it. Also, here's a bomb. Let's use it. Here's the exo bracer. We can use it to evolve the guardian. And I'm just running around the map collecting biofuel. Here is the cheeseburger defender. Let's AFK zone operation challenge two. While we're AFK, did you know that I have a basket of food right here? Check it out. I have Tostitos, Fritos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Also Slim Jims. Okay, I will keep my eyes on the prize. I will pay more attention. Got to keep my mind off of food. We can do this without eating. We don't need food. We can complete all of the zone operation challenges in one fellow swoop. And we don't need to indulge in life's luxuries like food. Disgusting. We have a five-star HE fuel passive skill. So as you see, our skills are larger. And they can essentially hit more targets. So I'm going to stand AFK right here in the middle. And I'm going to eat a Slim Jim. This is the breakfast of champions. We killed an elite down here once again. And we are going to grab six cents. We are also going to evolve Ronan Oyori because why not? And now we are getting approached by pigs. They are spawning in quickly and also dying quickly. And here's a bomb. We killed an elite with that bomb. We have a boss at the 10 minute mark and we are going to kill it. We have a tree. We have a pig. Rest in peace, everybody. We're getting a hero shard, a key and more essence. Here are the total damage numbers. And check this out. Once again, we have another challenge here for zone operation challenge two. Let's go take on zone operation challenge three. When light falls, run for it. I'm not going to run from anything. Let's grab the soccer ball. Let's grab type A drone. And we're on the beach here, guys. We have some shells. We have some crabs and a walking plant. Don't you hate when you go to the beach and all the crabs start attacking you? Plants start walking and shooting pink balls at your face. Hey, hey, get out of here. That's not my idea of a good time. Uh oh, we have an elite coming in hot and it died right away. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Know your enemy first. Zombies are 
incoming at the one minute 30 second mark. They were here all along. You don't need to tell me. But these ones are dogs. They are puppies. Zombie puppies. Here's the spirit shuriken. We have evolved the kunai. Here comes a boss at the three minute mark. I was trying to eat my Slim Jim and wow, we killed it right away. Let's grab this magnet and I guess just hang out here. Let's try to evolve our skills as well. Here is the whistling arrow. We did it. And let's see, can we find the destroyer next? Yes, we can. Let's go destroy things now, I guess. I need to eat the rest of my Slim Jim. Slim Jims and Red Bull for breakfast. Let's go. What did you have for breakfast? Put it in the comments below. Zombies are incoming, so let's kill them. Get out of here, you pigs. I'm going to ram you with my force field. These guys are dropping great biofuel. We have gold. We have blue. And for the heck of it, let's grab the oil bond. I don't actually really recommend this. The five-star Molotov is great on its own, and I don't have the tech part for it equipped. But I'd like to do things a little differently here. I'm trying to have some fun. So let's evolve the fuel barrel. Here's a bomb. As you see, it can remove lasting damage from the ground. So can the Molotov or the fuel barrel. At the six minute mark, we are getting approached by a boss, King Crab, and his tree buddy over here. And here's the force barrier. We're going to kill everyone here. Let's grab the energy cube. We have a new Red Bull right here. Let's go. We need a lot of Red Bull for these zone challenges. Here is the quantum ball. Here comes an elite. We killed it. These elites are just easy to kill. Give them bazookas. Give them rocket launchers. Give them that Thanos glove thing. I've never seen any Marvel movies. I do kind of want to see them at some point. I have nothing against them. I did recently watch Captain America, the first one. And then I'm like, I want to watch the next one. And I couldn't figure out which one was the next one. There are just too many Marvel movies. We have evolved the ammo thruster. And here comes another elite. Thank you for the chest. We're just ramming the enemy. We are running through them and we're not taking any damage either. The force barrier is coming in clutch here. In addition, enemies who die within the force barrier here will drop bonus EXP. Here comes another elite trying to breathe fire on us, but it died. Our breath was stankier. It's all those Slim Jims we had. We have about 30 seconds to go, it looks like. Every zone operation challenge has lasted 10 minutes. Here comes the boss at the 10 minute mark. Let's stand here, let's see who it is, and let's kill them. It's Mega Pincer. Pincher. I don't know what you want me to call you. Rest in peace though. They're dead. And we're getting more shards, more keys, and more essence. Here are the total damage numbers. Let's go change up some tech parts here. Here is Zone Operation Challenge 4. Even when damage is lacking, the enemy remains strong. Okay, it's a vertical chapter. Check it out. And there's a siren going on in the background. I'm just going to keep on playing. Be as loud as you want out there. I don't care. Here's Type B drone. Let's grab it. I feel like I see Type A drone more. And I have tried to test that out before. They actually drop the same amount. But you might find Type A drone four times in a row and then find Type B drone four times in a row. It's a little weird. Here's the brick. Our first time using it today. And my mouth is getting watery. So I'm going to eat another Slim Jim if I can open it. When I was younger, this finger came off. <laughs> so... I can't really use it that well. Don't look at it. We killed an elite. This is not what I'm looking for. Give me the drone. We're not finding type A drone. I'll take the fitness guy to evolve the brick. You better give me type A drone though. If not, I guess I can solo drone it. And here's type A drone. Here is the spirit shuriken. Here comes a boss at the three minute mark. Hello manager, how are you? Rest in peace, buddy. Get out of here. Wasted him. And here's the one ton iron. I have a bomb and I'm not afraid to use it. There we go. Here is the destroyer drone. We did it. And and let's grab the guardian that can deflect some bullets and whatever else just in case we need it and here's an elite cat it died we're just way too strong for these zone operation challenges but things will get harder things will get harder there's some type of weekly thing that's going on and that should be pretty fun because so far this is a breeze and here's the whistling arrow go whistle in the wind my arrow and let's grab hg fuel here's the caltrops here comes some cats i'm actually allergic to cat dander so you guys are going to have to leave here comes a boss at the Six minute mark. I have my scissors ready. Let's see who it is. It is the tribal chief. Let's kill them and grab this magnet and open up some chests. We have a lot of chests around here. Let's grab survivor instinct. I am getting text a lot on this phone right now. I'm gonna have to edit all of it out. But look at this. We are doing big things. Our skills are big and we are crushing this zone operation challenge. We're not even taking damage when we run into the mob. We are not taking any collision damage. We are way too OP for this. We just took a little bit right there. And here comes some pigs. Hurt me. I want to feel pain. We have the sixth sense skill. Not that we need it, but we have it. And we're still just way too OP for the zone operation challenge. We have just evolved the energy cube. Check it out. Our cooldown is going to be decreased by a lot. We have about 20 seconds to go. Here we go. We have two bosses right here. Let's kill them. Let's kill them both. We have a caterpillar and a hog. Rest in peace, both of you. I'm going to bury them in my pet cemetery. That was zone operation challenge four. We are getting a hero shard, some keys and essence. Here are the total damage numbers. All right, guys. I 
I just ordered Jack in the Box and now it's time to take on Zone Operation Challenge 5. When bullets don't travel in a straight line. I don't know what that means. It's gonna be like that movie Wanted where bullets bend around. Let's grab the soccer ball. And here's type B drone. I'm just going to use my left hand. Oh no, it's stuck on my cup of root beer. A North American delight. Here's type A drone. We have both drones. You can't go wrong with curly fries either. That's right. I had Slim Jims. I had Red Bull. And now I have Jack in the Box. Breakfast, meals, feast of a champion. Let's grab the guardian here. Maybe we can deflect some of those bending bullets. And here's an elite one shot, one tap death right there. And we're getting three things from the chest. Zombies are incoming. Now you see me, now you don't. And look at all of this blue and gold biofuel on the ground. More drone action, let's go. We're doing it with the drones right now. And I'm going to grab the drill shot. Here's a magnet, let's use this bomb. There's another bomb down here. And you know what, let's kill some enemies and then collect the biofuel with this magnet. Come to me, you little trees. The Jumbo Jack Loki kind of slaps. A boss is coming at the three minute mark. Let's grab this magnet and make the destroyer drone. We can also grab survivor instinct. More kunai action. Let's go. Let's kill the boss right here. We keep on choosing skills. We killed it. And there are magnets galore everywhere. So let's see. Can we evolve the soccer ball? Yes, we can. Here's the quantum ball. We did it. No, I think I'm just going to AFK. Hang out around these magnets. Hang out around this food in case I need it. And eat my jack in the box. We are getting approached by bears. Let's grab this magnet over here. More kunai. And here's the spirit shuriken. We did it. Here comes an elite. Elites are just easily dying everywhere. Does that mean that I'm elite? And all these pink balls are just getting launched towards us, but check it out. The Guardian is knocking them back. Here is the Defender Cheeseburger, and I have one right below me right here in real life and in the game. And here comes the next boss at the six minute mark. Let's kill them. Let's kill them both. Both of you die. Rest in peace. Zone operations are easy. Uh, let's grab the fitness guide. Sure, whatever. Where is the ammo thruster? I don't know. We have chest galore though. Here's the ammo thruster. Let's go. And here is the whistling arrow. We evolved the drill shot into the whistling arrow. I guess we're gonna have to finish this later, guys. Okay, I'm back. I had a phone call. Let's grab the high power bullet. And I guess we can just hang out around here. There's a lot of stuff around here. We have two minutes and 30 seconds left. We are getting approached by more monsters. Check them out. They're coming from every direction. I think they're carrying hoes. Are these hoes? Little rakes? I don't know. And some bears. Let's open up this chest now. And grab the six cent skill. While we're here, let's open up this chest before we meet the final boss in 30 seconds. Or in one two, three. Ah, here's the final boss. We have the Scarlet Hunter and a tree. Let's kill them both. Get out of here, Scarlet lovers. And we completed Zone Operation 5. Those are the rewards. Here is the total damage. Zone Operation 6, muted fire all around. All right, let's grab the durian, I guess. Why not? The kunai. This is a square chapter, another square chapter. Here's type A drone for the bosses. The first couple of zone operations are quite easy, but these guys have lasers and they move. They're Mobile. Mobile. It's hard to evade lasers, man. It's hard. Let's grab the drill shot for now. And there's a bomb down there that we can use later. And some food. Here is type B drone. We now have both drones. What is the next skill we are going to find? I just used a bomb when no one is even there. Enemies are incoming. Let's kill them before they kill us. And there are a lot of bullets here. The light chaser might work very well here. As well as the void power weapon. Here's the spirit shuriken. Anything that you can use to, you know, deflect or avoid bullets would work great here. The Defender even. So once we evolve the drones, maybe we should find the Defender. Before then, let's just walk in a circle and kill everyone right when they spawn. No one can shoot me because they're dead. Here comes a boss at the three minute mark. It is the Guardian Robot. What are you guarding? We, we killed it right away. You didn't do a good job at it. They should fire you. Okay, we can't evolve the drones now, so let's go do it. Here is the Destroyer. And here's the Guardian. We finally found it. And I don't need anything to evolve the Kunai. So we do have a few slots open. So we just need the ammo thruster, sport shoes, and the exo bracer. First, here's the caltrops. I'm not grabbing survivor instinct this time. I don't really need it right now. In other situations, I would totally use it. And here's the ammo thruster, the exo bracer. Okay, let's go hunt for some sport shoes. We're going shopping. Be right back. Okay, here we are on zone operation six. I am still looking for sport shoes. I had to answer a few calls. And let me get my Red Bull out of the way. So I'm not finding sport shoes. Here comes a boss at the six minute mark. Let's devour it. 
Let's destroy it. Let's kill it. There we go. There are two of them. Both of them will die very quickly. And we have the Defender Cheeseburger. And no sports shoes. We're not finding sports shoes no matter what we do. And there's another chest down here. I guess we killed an elite. We're getting five different things. Give me the shoes, baby. And look at that. We're finding sports shoes. We found them. I'm happy now. I can move on. And here's the Quantum Ball just like that. We found sports shoes and then we evolved the soccer ball into the Quantum Ball. So I can keep on running around in circles like this, collecting biofuel, killing these towers that shoot lasers at me before they shoot lasers at me. That is one thing I like to do. I do like to kill. I like to destroy these towers before they start shooting because they are deadly. They can be very deadly. Let's grab a five star HE fuel passive skill. And here comes an elite. We killed it and we got more sports shoes and we can evolve HE fuel. Check this out. Here we go. Let's kill these towers before they start shooting or let's stand in the middle. Let's watch them shoot. I dare you to shoot or maybe we can just destroy them like this. We do have HE fuel equipped. As you saw, we just evolved it. So our skills are bigger and our range goes a further distance. We have about two minutes left. I guess I can AFK. But you know what? I just, I don't want to. I have the need to kill. I do see some lasers though. Check that out. They can't reach us. Your lasers are weak. I keep putting my Red Bull over here. Now we have 30 seconds to go. Here comes the final boss at the 10 minute mark. Who is it going to be? Captain. Let's just, two captains. Okay, let's destroy them both. You both can't be captains at the same time. It doesn't work that way. I'm the captain now though. I killed both of them. And those are the rewards. Look at this. We are getting more essence this time around. And the destroyer did the most damage. Good job, drones. We have zone operation seven. Eliminated enemies become even scarier. And look at this. We can get more energy essence here. Let's go kill. Oxygen deficient environment. An anomaly has happened in the zone. Oxygen levels are dropping fast. Battling outdoors for prolonged periods or being injured consumes oxygen. So there are these oxygen stations here. We can claim them. We can get oxygen. We can also find oxygen tanks. I guess I'll grab the drill shot here. Even more drill shot. Why not? Come here, puppies. Where where are the puppies? Come here. I need some biofuel. There they are. I feel like using the soccer ball. And look at this. We have an oxygen station over here. We just walk right up to it and claim it. You can increase your lunar stats or your oxygen stats, I think, in the lunar evolves section. I'm going to stand here with Croaky, breathe in some nice oxygen. And as you see, I am rapidly healing. That is the effect of eternal gloves, the astral forge effect. Every kill we get with a critical hit will heal us. Here comes an elite. It's walking right up to us and we killed it. This only has one tank left. There it goes. It disappeared. We need to find another one. Here's a drone too. Is there oxygen in this box? Yes, there is. I need it to breathe. When we run out of oxygen, we lose HP. Check this out. So now we are completely out of oxygen and I know you can't feel it, but my phone is vibrating and I am losing HP. Although I am also rapidly healing. But as you see, I am slowly losing a little bit of HP there on the end of that green bar. We can also find more oxygen stations like this. They are marked on the map, just like treasure chests star. We have infiltrated traded this O2 station. And as you see, it's going to run out right there. It's going to run out and we have to go back and claim it. To get oxygen, you want to stay inside this blue circle here. Let's go claim it again. I'm losing oxygen. Here comes the boss. I'm going to hide behind the building. This one is stationary. It doesn't really matter. The oxygen station is back, baby. Look at that. It rises right up from the ground, just like the Undertaker on WWF Raw. I need oxygen. I can't run out of this blue circle. There's more oxygen station down there. We'll run there after after this is dead, after this building implodes just like that, let's run. There's one more oxygen tank here and it's mine. This is mine. What are you doing to my oxygen station? I need it. You don't, obviously. Here's a tank on the ground. There are more tanks on the ground. We need them and we are also taking damage. More tanks, give me them. And there's a station down here. Let's infiltrate it like Natasha in Command and Conquer. We killed that elite. Let's open up this chest. One drill shot. Here's the whistling arrow. Okay, that's good. And let's get the kunai to five stars. We have the spirit shuriken. And there's a magnet up here. Let's go grab it and grab this oxygen station. We have the destroyer and I kind of want to grab sports shoes while I'm here. And I guess I'll grab the energy drink that will help us heal. Not only that, it will evolve the force field into the force barrier. I guess we'll grab the brick. Long time no see, buddy. It's been hours for me, okay? It's been hours for me. And look at this. Just like that, we have two new stations. We can run around it in a circle. Let's follow the green line. Let's go. And here comes a boss. Sapper, worm, beta. Okay, let's hide behind the oxygen station. And that was easy. We have the force barrier. And we have a five-star brick. We have a lot of oxygen. We can do it. Let's go wander around. Let's go open up this station over here. So all you have to do is stand by it, claim it. And as you see, it's going to slowly run out of time. Each time it runs out, it will deplete one tank of oxygen. There we go. And now we go back here. We claim it once again, and we can open up the other tank. Here comes an elite. We killed it. I'm going to open up its chest. I want some goodies. I'm only getting one thing, one pair of shoes. That's fine. Let's run around and run into things, I guess. 
caused some collision damage. Our oxygen is low. Let's see how much we can take. Do we even need oxygen? We have the Astral Forge effects of Eternal Gloves called Ruthless. It will heal for 1% every kill we get with a critical hit. We also have the energy drink, so we don't need oxygen to live. There's an elite down there. I wonder if we can kill it from here. And I'm not finding the fitness guide. We cannot evolve the brick. I will take the high power bullet. Let's go kill this elite little tower down here. We did it. All right, we're getting five things. Now we can actually evolve Survivor Instinct into Sixth Sense. This actually might be pretty fun with catnips, the broad waist guard, and other stuff that can heal you. We can evolve the Ammo Thruster or Sixth Sense. I'm going to grab the Ammo Thruster for now. Everything's going to be fast. And here is Sixth Sense and a five-star high power bullet passive skill with some food. We can just keep on running into everyone. It doesn't matter. We have the force barrier protecting us. These snowballs literally mean nothing to me. And we are rapidly healing. We can stand here and wait for the final boss. Here comes a boss. It is Zombie Rider. Oh, they are stepping all over that building. And we killed it. We killed both of the Zombie Riders. Here are our rewards. And here is the total damage. Zone Operation Challenge 8. Watch out for lasers and elite monsters. There will be lasers here. Let's go. This time around, I'm doing something different. I'm using Using Shelly. I don't recommend doing that. Croaky is a great pet to use, as is Rex or whatever else. But I want to have some fun. Follow me, my little turtle. Let's kill these enemies, collect the loot, here's the soccer ball, and keep on going. We can also stand by Shelly as she or he pounds the ground. Uh oh, look at those bullets. It would be wise to use something like the light chaser or the void power weapon here. These guys have a lot of bullets. They keep on shooting. It can sometimes be hard to evade. Look at them. They just keep on shooting towards us. There are a lot of bullets on zone operation challenge. Challenge 8. Here comes an elite. Let's get it with the drone. There we go. Let's go open this up too. I would like to find the defender. Maybe we can knock some of these bullets back. Get them, Shelly. Pets with range skills might work really well here, as would the light chaser or void power weapon. There are a lot of enemies here. They are caving in very closely. I'm feeling claustrophobic. I need to get out of here. Let me out. Let's grab the brick. We only have one more slot for type A drone, so we need to play smart. Let's use our refresh here. We're not finding it, but we did find a chi fuel, which means we can evolve that. And that's pretty good in vertical chapters like this. And here's a magnet. Maybe we should kill some more enemies first. Or let's grab it right now because I think we are about to see a boss. And I don't need any of these. I'm looking for a drone. I'm going to grab the Koga Ninja Scroll. I'll take the brick since I have it. And that's it. We found Type A drone finally. Just in time for the first boss at the three minute mark. Guardian Robot. Let's kill it. This boss is stronger than previous bosses. So it seems to get a little more difficult here on Zone Operation Stage 8. But we can do it. Let's use the bomb and go and grab this magnet. Magnet. Okay, we finally have a three-star kunai. Let's get the drones up. And here is the caltrops. Once we evolve the drones, I would like to find the defender. We need something to knock back these bullets. The enemy is just swarming in. Things are getting very hectic. And we killed this elite. Let's go open up its chest. Here we go. We have the quantum ball. This will work great against some of these mobs. Zombies are incoming. I know. I can see. Uh-oh. We have some laser towers. We need to kill them before they kill us. Uh-oh. Look at all of them. We need some more range. Here Here's the spirit shuriken, just what we needed. Okay, we need to take out these towers from a distance before they kill us. Of course, their range can be limited if we just stand still. We're very strong now. We can pretty much AFK. This is what we're using so far. I would like to find a magnet, grab all this biofuel from the ground, and maybe evolve the drones or find the fitness guide. Or both. Best case scenario is both. I don't care about your lasers. They mean nothing to me. I'll give you laser treatment. We can just heal right back up, and we can just keep on walking right up the street, killing the enemies one by one. Here is the destroyer. Now let's go find the defender. We have the destroyer for bosses. Now we need the defender for projectiles. We will grab a magnet from this boss and maybe we can find something to help us out. Here is withered treant. We killed it. Uh oh, it's going to hit us in the afterlife. Here's the guardian. We found it. And let's grab the exo bracer. Let's evolve it. Here's another magnet. Let's hang out around it. There are two magnets here. Wait, let's grab one first. And it did nothing. Okay, there's another magnet up there. So let's grab this one and grab more guardian. There was also the fitness guide there. I missed out. Here comes an elite from the north. We killed it. And I'm going to grab this magnet right here and walk down to this one. Five star guardian. All right. Can we evolve it next? Yes, we can. Here is the defender and here is the fitness guide. We can also evolve the brick into the one ton iron. Here's the one ton iron. Now the one ton irons are going to spin as they fly out. So let's just kind of run in a straight line, but not until we die. Let's stop right when we get there and heal back up. Where is Shelly? Shelly is all the way down here. Are you stuck behind laser towers? What's going on? There's Shelly. I want to see Shelly pounce through a mob of monsters. Here is Sixth Sense. So we are just killing and killing. We can keep on running in a straight line or zigzagging. Nope, we can't. But we will heal right back up and keep on moving. I don't care about your lasers. Let's evolve HE Fuel. Ammo size and range increases by 
60%. And here we go. We are just in time for the final boss, Captain. Let's kill the Captain and become the Captain. Zone Operation Challenge 8 is ours. Those are the rewards. Not bad. I'm, I'm not mad about it. And here are the total damage numbers. Zone Operation Challenge 9. Bullets get even more bewildering. Will shimber me timbers. We have Rex now. Let's grab Survivor Instinct and type B drone. Here's the soccer ball. I assume that there will be bullets, so maybe we should also grab the Defender. Let's take the drill shot with us. That can kill some enemies in the distance. These are not the skills I'm looking for, nor are these, but I'll take sports shoes. We killed an elite up here, I guess. Let's open up this chest. Can we get five things? We are getting three. Here's the ammo thruster. Let's thrust some ammo into the enemies. And here's a magnet down here. Now some enemies with shields just spawned. So far, we're not having much trouble, but let's see. I do not actually recommend these skills. In vertical chapter, skills like the brick, the lightning emitter, drills, soccer ball, they all work great. Escorade weapons like the light chaser and avoid power are always recommended. But if you like the kunai and are comfortable using it, it's fun to use and it's very effective against bosses. It's not bad against hordes of enemies either. The force field does seem to be pretty effective early on in some of these stages here, in some of these zone operation challenges. Here comes the first boss. It is the manager. Let's kill them. <laughs> He's throwing a phone at us. He threw three at us. I need type A drone. Show me type A drone. I know you know where he is. Seriously, where is type A drone? Here is type A drone, but we will not be able to evolve the force field. That's fine. And we just picked up the whistling arrow. Here is the spirit shuriken, and we are just decimating the enemies now. A friend of my enemy is my friend. Let's just keep on running into these mobs. Let's ram them. Let's thrust ammo into them. I didn't mean it like that. Or did I? Rex is a better choice than Shelly with King. More crits, more crit damage, and they can heal themselves. Check Rex out. Rex has range. He's down there in the enemies, just wiping them out, killing them, destroying them, decimating them, and healing along the way. Here is the quantum ball. And we have both drones at five stars, so I would like to evolve them. We are just decimating everything that walks in this zone right here. We have the destroyer drone, and we are still just decimating everything in front of us. At the six minute mark, we have some bosses right here. Let's kill them. Let's wipe them out. And we have some loot here that we can save. Here's what we're using. Let's AFK for a bit, and then we can grab this magnet right here. We have two minutes left. We are getting approached by more enemies. Time to grab the magnet. And this time around, I am going to use the laser launcher. Here is six cents. And let's go open up some chests. These mobs are coming in hot, but they can't take us down. Here is the death ray for the first time today. I don't have the tech part for it equipped, so it's just going to shoot around us right here. Wherever we walk, it can hit some enemies if we want it to. And there we go. We killed that elite. Rex, where are you? Come here. There you are. Good boy. Here comes the final boss. Hey, there's a magnet down there. Never mind. Let's use this bomb on them. Eat some food. And we are just going to kill them. Here are the rewards. And here is the total damage. Zone Operation Challenge 10. Lightning descends yet again. We have Krabobble with us. This is a square chapter as well. A square operation stage. Here's Type B drone. Get him, Krabobble. Here comes Anneli, and we killed it right away. And here's Type A drone. We have both drones now. I want to try the force field out. And the Molotov. Zombies are incoming at the 1 minute 30 second mark. Good for them. We have the 2 minute mark coming up right here. I don't need to eat healthy where I'm going. There's a lot of loot on the ground. Let's go collect it. Boss 1 at the 3 minute mark. Let's kill it. It's a butterfly. Don't hit me with your disgusting purple liquid. What can we get from the chest? We have evolved the kunai into the spirit shuriken. Let's go. And let's grab oil bond. I would like to evolve the Molotov. I want to open up this chest. Maybe we can grab some more drones. Give me the drone. Nope. At the 4 minute mark, an elite is going going to approach and die. And we have a five-star Molotov. Zombies are incoming at the four minute and 30 second mark. Show yourselves. I need to evolve more skills. Here is the fuel barrel. We did it. I would also like to find HE fuel as well. And there it is. We have the one ton iron, which is great against mobs. So we can stand here in the middle with the fuel barrel and the one ton iron and pretty much cause a lot of damage. We can destroy the mobs around us. Here is the destroyer. At the six minute mark, we have a boss, two bosses. Let's kill them both. Let's light them on fire and grab the soccer ball. Uh oh, we almost died right there. Let's go grab some food and this magnet. Give me HE fuel or something. Nope. It's always oil bond. I'm just running in a circle collecting biofuel trying to kill all these mobs here and it seems to be working. We can also just stand here in the middle. Here comes Anneli and we killed it. We obtained five different things including the quantum ball. Let's go grab this magnet up here. I would like to find more HE fuel but we're just not finding it. Give it to me. Give me that one HE fuel. Oh, it's always oil bond. Here's HE fuel. Let's go stand here in the middle. Maybe we can hit a lot of enemies. We have an elite snake at the eight minute mark. We killed it. Time to open up the chest. Give me HE fuel, not oil bond, not oil bond. We got it. Five star HE fuel. And here is the exo bracer. So now the flames will scorch 
watch the Earth even longer. Our skills now have a longer duration. We have about 1 minute and 45 seconds left. And let's decrease our cooldown by even more. 10 seconds to go until we're free. Here is the final boss of Zone Operation Challenge 10, Disaster Alpha. We are the only alphas here. We are the only ones causing disaster. Get out of here. We just wiped them out. Here are the Zone Operation Challenge 10 rewards. And here are the total damage numbers. Good job, Kerbobble. So those were the Zone Operations. We're going to have to play them again with all these monster stats on. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see that. You can tap this little arrow right here to switch between challenges by the way this little recycle icon thanks for watching if you have any questions or tips please leave them in the comments below smash like and subscribe i'll see you later